From Eyewitness News, this is a severe weather alert. A big storm system on the way, very complex storm system, a lot involved, very dependent on the rain snow line as far as how much snow you get. Let's take a look at what's going on right now. Live pinpoint Doppler 12 radar. It's really quiet across our area, although there could be a little freezing drizzle and maybe a little bit of light snow that develops during the overnight, especially over here across eastern Massachusetts and maybe into eastern parts of Rhode Island. Temperature at 32 and westerly 30 degrees out there on Block Island. Threat tracker. We've got yellows and reds on the screen for tonight. It could be uh, some uh, icing left over from whatever melted during the daytime today. Uh, for Sunday, we are looking at some light precipitation in the morning. Steady snow slash mix for the afternoon. A good portion of the area could see a mixture of precipitation, but it should flip over to all snow eventually. We're looking at some slick roadways on Sunday as well. Monday changes a little bit. Some lingering snow in the northern part of the area. The wind strengthening could be gusting to 50 miles an hour in our neck of the woods. It looks cold outside. Check out the icicles in the hurricane barrier cam lens. Really different look uh, and you can see that we've got lots of clouds, no precipitation in our area. We've got some clouds trying to fill back in uh, relatively quiet across southeastern New England right now, but by tomorrow evening area of low pressure off to our south will be advancing on off to the north and east and what we call bombogenesis will be going on with that area of low pressure rapidly intensifies tomorrow night into the daytime on Monday. What's it mean as far as precipitation? Well, a little bit of light precipitation tonight. Tomorrow morning, first thing, relatively quiet. Uh, during the afternoon, the precipitation becomes steadier and heavier. And look, a good portion of the area could be snow. And then it begins to mix a little bit. And it may actually end as all snow across the region late Monday night and into Monday morning. And then that's when the winds will really start cranking. We'll talk more about that in a second. Five to eight inches in the Providence metro area, two to five toward the south coast. North of Providence, we're looking at eight inches or more of snow Sunday into Monday. The wind gusts generally 40 to 50 miles an hour across Rhode Island, although out on Block Island, parts of eastern Massachusetts could be looking at gusts of 60. Eastern Cape Cod may be approaching hurricane force wind gusts on Monday. Tomorrow's winds not all that high. For your weather impacts, high impact from snow, especially inland, high impact from the wind. I just showed you that. Travel impacts could be looking at some big problems on Monday morning for that commute. And we're looking at kind of a heavy wet snow. And with the winds that will be developing, power outage threat is high for Monday, especially. A new little uh, graphic for you. Best chance for school closings appears to be Providence on off to the north and over across eastern Massachusetts. Again, they're under blizzard watch over here across eastern Mass. A lower chance of school closing south of Providence. Don't take this as verbatim. Make sure to check our pinpoint closing network as we get into the daytime tomorrow and tomorrow night. Storm timeline accumulation of snow begins uh, tomorrow afternoon and into Monday morning. Some mixing tomorrow afternoon, but it goes over to snow. Strong northwesterly wind gusts in our area, 50 miles an hour higher on off to the east. Seven day future cast. Again, we've got that precipitation for Monday. Best chance of snow in the morning. We dry out slowly in the afternoon. On Tuesday, it looks dry. And if you love snow, you're going to love this forecast because we've got more of it for you on Wednesday. I know Jared can barely contain himself. <laughs> We've got snow, light snow, uh, late in the day Wednesday and into uh, early Thursday. Could be some small accumulations there. We'll watch that. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, we're looking at some dry weather. So bottom line, this is a very complex forecast. It could change very quickly depending upon where that rain snow line sets up. So be sure to check back to further forecast. But it's a Im big impact storm no matter what. I really like your school graphic, and I just want to say Coventry, Cumberland, Lincoln, Smithfield, Warwick and Woonsocket, all parking bans being reported uh, thus far. That's all on our website. Parking bans, parking bans, not school count closings. No, but I liked your graphic. Thank you. Yes, not school. Yes, not school. Underline that. Coming up in sports, <laughs> Eyewitness News at 10.